Hello, thank you for tuning in to this week's read. Uh, I forgot what I was thinking. Okay, for this week's read, the main tarot I'm going to use is Gilded Tarot Royale. Yep. By Chiro Marchetti. Text by Barbara Moore. And I'm going to go ahead and say there is the website on here, even though there it is. Apparently I'm just completely a little behind here. Llewellyn.com, I believe, is there. Uh, feel free to freeze frame and check out any of those other links if you're interested. Supportive Oracle Cards, You Are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illustrations by Elaine Marzen. And the website in the back of this one, rockpoolpublishing.com.au is in, A as an apple, U as an umbrella. And last but not least, uh, I have new dice, but I don't know where I have them. They're in my house. <laughs> for this week, I'm going to still use the D&D dice. Um, the 20 I used for the Major Arcana, which does omit 21 and 0. Somebody pointed out, and they're correct. And I used the number 4 dice for the element, and I used the 12 di 12-sided dice for the Minor Arcana, which one I'm going to use. Which I have new dice. But my brain does not know where I put them at the moment, even though I put them somewhere safe. I know that much. All right. That's what I got for this week. Uh, let's go on to your reading. Hello, Cancer. Thank you, for, thank you for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Cancer? Ooh, okay. We like how this is starting. Let's see where we're going. Got success. Just leave it. Okay. This is interesting. Um, really good energy. Uh, who is somebody getting in your way? I don't know. I feel like somebody might try to get into your way. But you might have a quick moment where you could easily sidestep that. If you're aware of it, you see it ahead of time, you can be like, nope, not doing that. And just kind of move around it. Like, we don't need that issue. Just kind of get around it. Let's see. Um, there's been harder times with... I feel like it's somebody specific. I feel like this reading is going to deal with a, a specific person. Granted, it's a general read. It could be a job. It could be something like, you know, property. It could be that. But it's more than likely a person. Um, I'm seeing this in the past... Sometimes the strength card talks about Leo energy. It doesn't have to be. Uh, no sign is good or bad. It's just about how the energy is being used. There's been harder times in the past. I keep getting there's been harder times in the past. And it seems like it's a specific person. It doesn't mean anybody was doing anything bad. It just means that it was a difficult time. You just leave it at that. It doesn't mean anybody was bad. I mean, subjective to how you feel about it, of course. You got the Hermit card, and then the Ten of Cups. Somebody who means a lot to you. This is why this has been so heavy, because there's been difficult times. Current times, things are better. Um, there could be whoever this person is. It doesn't have to be that. I don't know if I just heard something go bidding or not, but maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Um, I don't know if this person used to be in a relationship and that relationship caused a lot of difficulties. Um, I wonder if that, it must have been the camera made that sound. Um, but that seems to be not an issue now. Because currently I feel like there's a lot of good times, a lot of good energy, or like either that or the, the heart issue or the problem is kind of subsided. Communication going back and forth, trying to pull people back together, um, trying to give somebody a chance. Trying to give somebody a chance might be a big thing here. Um, kind of like, you know what, things have changed, they still are of value to me, so I'm still wanting them around. Holding on, holding on to something, this person means a lot to you, and you're like, there's been, there's been some really good times with this person, and I really would like to keep that. And even though we've gone through some rough times, things seem like they're, they're lifting up again, and we're trying to move forward with strength. This is good. I think this is good. 
we kind of want to give it a chance for it to kind of come to its own. It's kind of like watching um, water on a stove and like you're waiting for it to boil. It's kind of like a watch pot never, never boils. I mean, it will, actually. I'm not saying how I know that, but <laughs> it will. But we kind of want to give it a chance to come to its own heat, its own temperature. Tower card and the three of cups reversed. Somebody is missing you, and they're realizing that something needs to be corrected in this connection. Um, whatever those hard times were, they this other person seems to know that they need to acknowledge something in some respect. Whether they did something to you or they didn't, or there was a problem here that you tried to help but they ignored it, or maybe that they distanced themselves from you, and there, it wasn't really fair that that happened, but there was a reason for it. There needs to be some type of acknowledgement because it, it seems like this other side seems to feel like there's damage to this connection. Ironically, you feel like there's hope here and you're feeling good about it. Like this can come back together. Your energy is very positive. Their energy might feel a little bit lacking, kind of like maybe they're kind of like holding themselves down a little bit. Your energy does feel very forgiving, by the way. I got the King of Cups for you. You seem to have a broader picture of it. Like, no, 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 I'm not holding this against them. It's probably better if you talk about it, but it's like your energy is more positive towards them. They seem to have a more negative energy against themselves. Not against you, but against themselves is where I think this is. Take it with a grain of salt, of course. Um, let that energy come forward on its own. Um, by trying to be more proactive with it, it actually becomes more of a challenge for this person. I feel like it makes them feel worse for some reason. Kind of like, yep, cancer's trying to help me again, and I don't know if I can do it. So it's kind of like, let them kind of come to it on their own terms. Let them kind of bring it forward on their own timing. Uh, I feel like you can understand how that feels sometimes, where they just kind of have to come around to it on their own. But they are figuring it out. It's just taking them a minute. There might be some hard feelings against... I feel like they're doing this against themselves. Like, they're feeling bad about what they did, and they're not handling it quite well just yet. But they're getting there on their own time, in their own way, you know. Um, I also feel like whatever this hard time was in the past, you probably weren't the only person that had a difficult time with this person. So there might be like a... They might have like a collection of people that they feel like they need to make things right with, which is might feel overwhelming to them, which is another reason they kind of have to bring it forward in their own terms and their own time. Um, but it's positive energy, very much positive energy with you. This person seems to be moving in that direction. So what is this going on here? Because there's a rough card coming up that doesn't have to be... You can sidestep this is what I keep getting. What is this? The star card reversed and then the ace of pentacles half in, half out. This person, whatever they're overcoming, whatever they're fixing, help them keep it more fluid. I feel like cancer can do that. Like, let's just handle it day by day. Let's just kind of go with it day by day. There is... I think this is another person. Somebody else, again, I feel like somebody else might have, like, a grudge or something against this person. Or some type of hard feelings against this person. You don't seem to harbor that. And water signs tend to remember things and tend to hold that energy. You don't seem to be in this situation. So, whatever it is, you seem to have a broader spectrum. Broader spectrum, no, a broader view of the whole thing. Um, so, you're not really holding this, but somebody else is. They gotta solve that on their own. Whoever this is, whoever that whoever this is that's holding this energy, the person who had that hard time, they have to solve it with them directly. Don't don't be in the middle of it. I feel like this becomes if if you do that, that's the devil card. It's just it's not gonna go well. You, you might end up getting it from both sides just be aware of that um you don't have to do that this is one of those things where those people have to figure it out for themselves i can see cancer having a big heart and going like you know i want 
Like they deserve a chance. They deserve to for this to be easier for them. This like you can see that they deserve better. But it's not going to work. It's just the bottom line. Uh, and again, I can see you getting it from both sides. Even though you have great intentions, it's just not going to work out those times when I'm getting If this is following along. What they're saying to do with it, let me just verify. What is that? The temperance card kind of half in, half out. And then the, what is that? The four of wands reversed. Let that, maybe if there's somebody being kind of a little bit, you know, vicious with this situation, disconnect from it. The Four of Wands reversed is like breaking a bond. Not like whoever this person is, you don't have to break your bond with them, but like don't break your bond within contain how you're connected to that situation. So for example, maybe it was a, like a, a road trip two years ago, things went bad just for argument's sake disconnect from that whole situation like that road trip is over i let it go whatever went bad i let it go this other person's like well i haven't all right I'm, i have though so you deal with it with that person however you need to i'm not going to be a part of that i've made peace with it continue on your energy with this person you made peace with your part of that road trip that's their problem whoever's still upset about it okay they have to figure that out that's not for you to figure out it's for them and those two people have to deal with it, then they have to deal with it however they see fit. Just, I've, I've made peace with my piece of it, and I can't fix your piece of it. One of those things. Because I feel like if you leave it, and you just accept it for what it is, because I feel like that's a good analogy, actually. I hope that makes sense. Like you had a road trip, and you and five other people went on this road trip, because it was a big van, or whatever you were in. Something really went bad there. This one person, maybe people were mad at this one person for what went bad. If you made your peace with it, leave it to the other people to make their own peace with it. If they're upset about it, they're going on about it, like, all right, listen, I understand, but I made peace with that. I'm letting it go. I let go. I can't be a part of that. I'm just stepping out. That person who made the problem, you make peace with that person however you need to, I'm stepping out. I'm just accepting that it's over. What it was is what it was. I'm not going to live in that past moment. I'm letting it go. and just. St I'm getting that you should be allowed to fairly easily. Not everybody's going to accept that. Not everybody's going to let go of that moment. But distancing yourself from that connection makes the whole thing easier. And it's kind of like, I'm not saying you have to anything. You know, if somebody else doesn't want to let go, you're kind of like, well, I'm not telling you you have to. I'm not saying anything about it. You have to make peace in your own way or not in your own way. I'm, I'm done. I've, I've decided I'm letting it go. I've made peace with it. I'm letting it go. Because I see if you're able to do that, you're going to be surprised how much easier the energy is, how much more healing the energy is. You got success, you got happy energy coming in. Um, it's not about judging other people in any sense of like if they're holding on to it or not for whatever reason. That's their business. What they went through and what they had to deal with, that's their business. You don't have to. You can sidestep that whole thing. I'm also getting, again, I feel like I already said this, but you're not going to be able to help other people solve their connection with that moment. It might, You might get it from both ends. I'm warning you. You might get it from both ends, and it's not definitely not going to make you happy. Let them solve it themselves. Like, hey, I solved it for myself. That's the best I can do. You do what you need to do. And the thing is, cancer is extremely loyal. I can see where that might be a kind of a challenge, but they're saying, I don't think other people are going to pull you in also for whatever reason so if you try to step away i don't feel like it's going to be that hard i feel like other people are going to be like all right cancer then you did they might be a little bit annoyed with you but not like like er, but just kind of like oh all right fine you let it go and they might roll their eyes at you let it just be just kind of walk away from it it's their own frustration they're dealing with their own frustration that might be a hard one if they roll their eyes at you i get that but Step away from it. Let them solve it themselves. It'll be best. I hate that I'm going to say this again, but I, I really, I'm really nervous because I see cancer having a very big heart about it, inserting yourself in the middle for best intentions. Like I want to help these two sides, like work it out and be at peace with each other. But I'm getting like you might get it from both ends, and they're not going to get along either. So it's just kind of like you might get it from both ends, and you definitely don't want that. Are we good?
All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.